Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of IC. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as we defend the Eden against the oncoming hordes of mercenaries trying to, um, well, take this place. I was gonna say back, but not really back. Well, they, they want this place for themselves, I guess. They're coming from Ammunition up north, if you didn't catch the earlier episodes. Um, so now I will see, this is the first time that I've seen this, uh, this, uh, well, this uh, sequence of events, so we will all see whether or not we're able to uh, withstand their, their attack. Let's see. They... Okay, gunfire. Gunfire. They quickly open the gate and start walking right where you prepared an ambush for them. Oh, yeah. You see the mercenary army outside the gates. Bullets fly everywhere. Sometimes an explosion raises a cloud of snow. It seems like the mercenaries will easily pass through the gate. Their army is big and the Eden's forces seem too weak to hold them for long. You suddenly hear a violent explosion and a cloud of dust rises before your eyes. After a few seconds, you see a breach at the gate and some soldiers come in. in. The Eden soldiers start to fall back to regroup in a better position, but they need you to cover their retreat. The breach is small and will be easy to defend it, that's a good sign. Okay, let's see. We are uh, we are here to defend the Eden from the mercenaries, and uh, let's go with melee. Okay, I should be able to get them. Although my morale is gonna take a serious hit. Um, minus four. Okay, let's hope. I don't know what this is. Never got to understand that. Okay, let's fall back a tiny bit and let's shoot them from afar. Uh, hopefully that will work. Um, yeah, I'm gonna guess it will. I am guessing it will, or maybe not, though. Minus feet, eh, probably not. It's gonna, no, I don't think that we're gonna win this one. Oh, maybe we will, but it's very unlikely. <laughs> oh, so tight, it is so tight. We won this one, we won this one. Yeah, man, look at our morale. Whew. Holy shills, you killed every enemy, the fight is over. Yes, we've, we've killed every enemy. You managed to repel the first wave of enemies, but the mercenaries are too much, and you hear people of Eden calling for retreat. You, your family, and the Eden soldiers start going back, while the mercenaries slowly penetrate through the breach. You reach another defensive position and prepare yourself for the final fight. And I don't think this is gonna be winnable. I don't know, I don't... I'm not sure... I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do this, uh, and if that's the case, that's gonna be bad. Okay, maybe we will, maybe we will. Maybe we will, let's, let's see, let's see. Let's use the same strategy and shoot them. Minus 61, so that's good. Minus 64, okay, things are going well. This is the final attack, so it should be winnable. Woo! Oh man, okay, so minus 58, that's fine. Minus 54. Yeah, we're gonna win this. We are gonna win this. Oh yeah. Oh, maybe not though. Oh, there you go. There we go. Okay, good, 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 good. You killed every enemy again. Total onslaught. Total destruction. The battle is finally over. Eden soldiers, Eden soldiers run around you, searching for the few enemies remaining or bringing the wounded to the infantry. You see Boris coming towards you in the company of four soldiers. He's raising his, he's raising his hand to get your attention. Come on, we have to finish this. Let's face Vernon. You rapidly go across Eden's corridors to reach the room in which Vernon and the other leaders went to hide from the battle. Boris breaks open the door with a kick and steps inside with a rifle in his hand. This is over, Vernon. You can no longer stop us. You think this is over? You think you will rule this place at, at your will? The people of Eden won't allow you to do that. They're loyal to us. I won't rule this place. We're going to rule this place all together. The dictatorship is over. No one is going to protect you now. Vernon looks around, but no one does anything. Not the soldiers or the other leaders. What are you waiting for? Stop this man before his, uh, his madness kills us all. As I said, no one is going to protect you now. Everyone is on our side. Can't you see that? You lost Vernon. You lost Vernon. 
The sooner you, ex you will accept it, the better it will be for everyone, including yourself. This is not over. The people of the Eden will soon see how pathetic I your, how your pathetic ideal ideals will destroy everything we have. Threats won't help you anymore. Boris turns to you. Any idea about fitting punishment? I think above all should uh, I think you above all should decide his destiny. Uh, I mean, Vernon might. He might. I mean, if there's one thing, one good thing to be said about Vernon is that he's a man of ideals. I mean, it, 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 at least he argued about his position, which is a good thing, and I respect that. So, imprisoning him, that's not exile. Ex yeah, probably exile is better. It's the better deal for him and for everyone in here. Because killing him is probably not gonna be good. I mean, for morale and yeah, starting this whole new era of the Eden by with killing the old leader it's just not yeah I don't think that will set a good example for the future exile on the other hand I don't know yeah let's go with this one because prison is probably gonna be bad on the long run considering there will always be people that are loyal to Vernon and that's just the nature of humans Nah, there's always gonna be that person that's like, oh, Vernon was was the best, this new Boris guy, or whatever. Whoever is gonna rule this place now, or whoever group, or whatever group of people is gonna rule this place now, is always gonna be perceived as worse by some people. That's just how it is. So let's exile him. He will be exiled from the Eden and forced to walk on the white wasteland. He will see with his eyes the life of all the people outside here. He didn't want to help. Yeah, that's a good a good reason right there. Doesn't change his punishment, but still a good reason. So it shall be, Boris nods at the soldiers. Soldiers, drag this man into a cell while we prepare the few supplies he will get before we banish him. The soldiers start dra dragging Vernon away while he keeps screaming, This is not over! When you, fa when you fail, I'll be here again, with all the people of Eden to support me! Boris watches Vernon getting dragged away with a satisfied smile on his face. So long, Vernon. I'd say I'll miss you, but no one would believe my words. Victory is ours, my friend. Now we have the power to decide Eden's fate. Vernon is not a problem, a problem anymore, and the other leaders will soon resign. Any idea about what we should do? Uh, we should create a commercial outpost? Uh, no, let's see. Wait some time. No, I don't think that is a good idea as well. So we should come outside. We should create an internal commercial outpost. Oh, that's a good idea. I think we should build a city outside. Oh, that's actually I I like that idea. Kind of like a vault city thing type deal from Fallout 2. Like a yeah, I think yeah. Let's go with that. We should build a city outside the Eden to allow the people of the Vale to move here and start a new life as our brethren. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Oh, Boris doesn't like that. It's pure utopia. I like the idea, but we we got attacked and we don't have the people or resources to create something like that right now. Okay, so... How about we create an internal commercial outpost to start creating solid relationship with all the people living in the Vale? Ah, sadly, I think it's the only thing we can do right now. The Eden paid a high toll today. Yeah, I probably did. Are you sure about that? Yes, I am. Then it's decided. Come on, come with me. We have a lot of things to do and decisions to make. You walk away with Boris, heading for the command room. The war is finally over, maybe now you can hope to have at least a few months of peace. Go to the end? Is this the end of the game? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Let's go. The whole matter of Eden is finally over and, despite your efforts, Things have been hard. You fought with Boris for an open Eden to give another chance to humanity to try to restore what the apocalypse destroyed a long time ago. After some time, the Eden opens itself to the world. Nothing more than a small outpost, but still a step toward a brighter future. Goran, Irma and their children were freed soon after you managed to stop Vernon and Morgan. So good, we got our friends back, that's perfect. You finally managed to see them again and they kept leaving inside Eden but out of a small cell. That's good, outside a small cell. After the news about the open Eden spread around the world, hundreds of visitors came each year to trade goods and knowledge. The Eden became a symbol of hope, a place in which humanity slowly started to restore its long-lost greatness, and you were part of this process for the whole time. 
Many nomads walk the white wasteland with a constant thought, never present dream, a place to live, thrive, and hope for a better future. Through your efforts, you manage to realize this dream, bringing your friends with you, who have walked on the white wasteland countless times, searching for the re for resolution. But it was different, because you had a home to come back to, with people waiting for your return, who have an important role in your community. This is how your journey on the White Wasteland ended. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the ends of Icy. It has been a quite a journey. I, I really enjoyed my time with the game, and I really enjoyed the writing, despite the typos and despite the weird sentences that every now and again. But um, I'm, I'm tempted to play this game again. Nah, probably not on camera, though. There's a few new games coming up. Uh, so, like, um, the new... Pillars of Eternity um, expansion, and there's also Shadowrun, the new Shadowrun, and I might want to cover that on the channel. But as for Icy, I really, I really very much enjoyed my time with the game, and I do recommend that you try it yourself if you enjoyed uh, my series, because I get the feeling that, I mean, it's still fairly, at least at the beginning, it's still fairly straightforward in, in, in regards to how uh, the uh, plot lines branch out. I mean, it's not, it's probably not um, linear or as linear as it might seem at first glance, but I think that with a few different choices every now and again, we'll see very different reactions from, from people in our party and from people outside our party as well. And uh, maybe you could save Carlos. Yeah, let's not forget that Carlos died and uh, he unfortunately left his wife behind. But still, it's it's been it's been a great I have I, I, yeah I've had a great time with the game, and uh, I've also tried to play it um, on my own uh, on the side, but I, I didn't do that because I think the game is a little bit buggy, uh, and I didn't want to screw up my <laughs> my LP. So yeah, I I'll, I'll now spend some quality time with Icy Journey to the White Wasteland. It's a what's an interesting thing actually. Remember the Red Horseman at the beginning. What was up with that? Where were we? Were we on some completely different area of the game? Because um, Jerome was like, oh, the Red Horsemen, they are terrible, they kill everyone and all sorts of stuff, and then we fled, and then we never heard from them again. And I... yeah. yeah interesting. Well, anyway, uh, this, this has been Icy. I'm Colonel RPG, and I really, really hope you've enjoyed all this series. If you did, feel free to leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel for lots of RPG goodness, and also other types of game with sometimes <laughs> RPG elements. Uh, but anyway, uh, above everything else, thank you so much for watching and for sticking with me through this journey to the White Wasteland. And I'll see you some other time. Bye-bye!